Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry if this one isn't as like polished as the others, but I really needed to get this video out in time. I hope you like enjoy. Please like and subscribe if you did, and let's get into it. So two hours ago, Pyro Cynical posted his response video, my response, and let's just say it's very like enlightening and eye-opening in like the entire topic because there, there's a lot of points he covers and there's a lot all of the points he addresses well and there's virtually zero misconceptions that i have with him like with these google docs and everything i think turkey tom made it or something like there was like a lot of misconceptions that i found and this video just had none of them so let's get into a point he's made i'm just going to summarize all of this for you lazy people who clicked off the video so the points that pyro makes are the doc was number one manipulative and number two cherry picked stuff to make it seem without any context to just make it seem like pyro was in the wrong for grooming someone now i'm going to specify this before we get any further pyro was wrong for sending this stuff to to ivory but pyro did not groom anyone and it is very important that this is being said he did not groom anyone and he did not do anything bad to anyone he just sent the stuff and well that was bad but it did not go further than that i think it's really unjust to compare him to someone like mini lad or kiwis which actually did do something horrifically bad and would have possibly scarred someone this really isn't the same situation and there were some really insane assumptions in the in the in the google doc and they really had no basis like the proof wasn't even concrete it wasn't set in concrete uh, it was just really bad proof pyro then says that he was involved in some like weird role play stuff when he was 20 which is why we have these messages and like okay um no more comment on that it's just quite weird but at least we have a, a bit of context beforehand um, so the first point that Pyro actually makes is that no photos were sent or asked for. Uh, this is also approved by Ivory Rasmus, and I think this is a very important topic to address. He was never into that type of stuff. Like I said, Kiwis or Mini Lad or Lion Maker, he, he just wasn't that. And so I don't think he should receive the same punishment, and he just shouldn't receive the same criticism as these people because his severity, the, the severity of his offense wasn't that bad compared to these people and like Niall and Pyro Cynical he didn't ask for Ivory's age and I think this shows like he doesn't remember the discord text that was shown we'll get into that later but like one this kind of shows that he wasn't thinking about the person's age or gender and like it really shows that they weren't variables as he has so explained Pyro also admits in his wrongdoing to not check in the age, but this should really show that he didn't care about Ivory's age, as I said before. And if anything, this drama just shows Pyro's, like, fetish. It's, it's not even accusing him of grooming. There's also a video that he put in the video, like, in his video, his response video, about somebody on livestream interviewing Ivory, and Ivory was not able to define or explain grooming so i think they were using the word grooming as like an exaggerated way it may, I, I think he would just use it for clickbait you know he just didn't understand the thing he was saying pyro then says that there was a bit in the document about him paying for ivory's plane ticket to fly him over to uk to do some things to him and i just want to say well this is complete bs he then goes on to get a video approval from scythe who says nothing bad was ever going to happen at that event he was invited to that event dozens of people that pyro didn't even know that well were invited to that event it was literally a copy paste invite there was really nothing there but people are just manipulating and cherry picking the situation and it's just made for like a really bad situation and pyro never saw ivory's age until ivory was six and even on twitter and he wasn't even on twitter during that so he had no way of knowing from twitter apart from one tweet from ivory when he wasn't suspended and the odds of pyro seeing that one tweet from someone when pyro follows hundreds of people is astronomically small still not as small as dreams odds but we move pyro then says that this is stated in his response on the subreddit which he did like a month ago i think but this is blatantly ignored in the google document possibly signaling to the fact that the person who made this doc i think it was turkey tom i don't remember was trying to manipulate people in this assumption in this case the google document then tries to say that pyro would retroactively know that ivory was 15 when he saw ivory's bio in a discord preview because you know when you like copy paste like your twitter 
link it shows like the first few words of a bio and the first few words of either his bio was his age and this doesn't make any sense because if you find out now how would you be able to know a year ago that the person was 15 it makes complete no it, it's nonsense it's nonsense he then admits that he shouldn't have continued once he learned of his age again and and he justifies this by saying the age of consent and 16 where they both live i think ivory lives in pennsylvania and pyro lives in the uk but then the exchange of these images and texts would count as 18 as they are not sex but uh, online images uh you know what i mean this is the only time that pyro contradicts himself and i'm not even gonna lie it was a mistake that many people would have done especially at his age if they had not known the law he then shows text saying that ivory states that he was a minor but the doc fails to state that the tweet was made two months after the twitter link wasn't was sent around discord so that really again it's just cherry picking manipulation by the person who wrote the google doc on a side note, this is one of the best response videos I've ever seen. There's no crying on the floor like Trisha Paytas. There's just no crying and there's really no manipulation or avoiding any questions. He, Pyrocynical here addresses every single point he has given and he addresses them directly and head on with very good justifications. This is what I want to see from people in dramas and everything because everything would be sorted out a lot quicker and you would lose a lot less subscribers and everything if you do it this way. Like, honestly, just begging for pity isn't really going to do you any good in this situation. Niall then says that the doc misphrases many things, which it does, such as saying that Ida was Niall's soon-to-be girlfriend, even though that doesn't happen for another two years. At this point in time, in 2017, Niall barely even knew Ida, and Ida barely even trusted Niall. Yeah, there's just another, so it's just a load of BS claims in the doc, and it's just really one-sided against like the dog and uh, he even like proved this pyro's straight i don't get why a bunch of people are saying that he's being that ivory was being groomed anyway pyro's straight he even goes on to defend ivory from Ida or Ida. i don't even know how you pronounce it once this like when ivory wrote that tweet Ida attacked him in the dms and pyro full-on defended her in the video so that must show that he wasn't trying to cause any like bad intentions to ivory the doc goes then goes on to say that pyro used retracted evidence but even that even though it's retracted it still doesn't disprove any of his claims as pyro says in the video he also said that many people have been accused before of such things in the community and by the same people so he thought that this was for the sake of it quite unquote but however the anecdotal evidence for some reason was like apparently evidence to people that ivory lied about his age which pyro never even claimed to happen to him and the only claim that pyro has made about his age is that he did not know it until he was 16. And this has somehow caused people to think that Pyro is lying when it clearly shows that 90% of the people involved in this drama have clearly not read both sides of the argument. It's just honesty. Why are you going into it? Why are you getting into this if you don't know the full story? You're just going in with a blindfold on. It's really not doing you any good. By the way, throughout this video, he admits five times to being sorry and responsible. Like, this is probably one of the most, like, straightforward response videos i've ever seen like this is really straightforward and he knows what he's responsible for and he admits to it this is what i want to see like even if he does get like full-on accused and proved of grooming even if this response video somehow doesn't do him justice i still want to say that it's a great response video and i respect him for this video um there are also no then shows a screenshot on discord of him having a mental breakdown saying he's extremely anxious and paranoid of ivory and this isn't about people finding out that he was doing this with a child it, it, he didn't even know that it was about people finding out that he liked this stuff like come on you would be embarrassed if you were in the situation if you read the entire screenshot it's clearly evident like honestly just read people like honestly even the entire thing has done nothing but ruin pyro's image and he hasn't really done anything horrifically bad it's quite sad another screenshot is then shown of him asking someone if there was a way he could mass delete messages but then this was also relating to the last point it wasn't because he was scared of people finding out he was doing this to ivory but because they didn't want to know that he 
like this stuff, you know? Like, come on. He then says that this, and I and I agree with this as well. This doc and the people against him have manipulated this so much and twisted it, cherry picked it, and misinterpreted so many things. Like, he makes a really good point here. It's really stupid how anyone would take this doc at face value and believe it to be true without giving it a second glance. It's even more insane that some people would view this as a non biased source. Like, look at the doc. It's not until page 16 that the doc admits that Pyro never sent any indecent images. Like, come on. The, the full on community has to do a lot better than this. If this is what people are going for, and if this is what people are believing, then I'm seriously debating about leaving. Pyro has also never changed his story, and like the opposition of the argument, which has changed their story so many times, it's like every single day there's like a new version of the story. It's unbelievable. Ivory then tweets a copy pasta, and people are so brain dead, so stupid, they take this for a fact. Even if you copy and paste the tweet on like the search bar on Twitter, you get it's you can clearly see it's a copy pasta, but because people are ignorant, they just choose not to see it. Like people will believe like such baseless arguments for everything. Even when Pyro has given exact dates and exact like details, like dates of his Twitter suspension. The document then compares him to Kiwis and Kiwis what he did is offensive. He sent indecent images to fill on 14 year olds. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. And it's really just offensive. And it isn't what happened at all with Pyro. It's really just quite stupid to even put that in the document if you want it to have a good reputation. The doc says people have to read all of the evidence, which is extremely ironic because the writer of the document clearly has it. As Pyro said, this is a severe case of tunnel vision. And that's where the video more or less ends. Um, so yeah, I've summarized all the points. What do I think of this situation? I personally think Pyro definitely did send these images, but I don't think he's like a predator or a groomer. No, no, he's just like, did this you, you know what i mean i'm trying not to say but he just liked this and he did this he with ivory but it never led to anything it was just like their personas they were doing erp you know what that means and well yeah it just got out of hand when ivory put it on twitter um well that's really all i want to say it's quite sad how somebody's image can be ruined on the internet for one thing that like, no they don't want getting out to the internet has been like exposed and i guess it's quite sad you know all right that's all for this video guys i'm i just needed to push this out i just needed to summarize everything i think i side with pyro on this one and yeah have a good one and i'll see you in a, a two weeks maybe maybe a week i have a few videos coming out uh i have like two videos in the works already one about k-pop stands and one about just just slap i think yeah and one about stance in general. So yeah, if you want to see those, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you. Bye.